Good morning guys, Scotty here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are hiking the Cape Hoy Track. This is a four hour return hike from Fortescue Bay here in Tassie, um, pretty close to Port Arthur. Um, now, as you can see behind me there, there are quite a few stairs. So this track and I have a little bit of a history. This is my fourth time doing this track. Once on the Three Capes track and three other separate occasions I've just done the day walk here. So brace yourself guys, there are quite a few stairs. Bring those hiking poles, you're going to need them, trust me. And the four hour return hiking time that is signposted is quite true and accurate. So don't be thinking you're going to do it a little bit quicker than that. You've got to allow for the stops for food, water and also photo opportunities as well guys. So the four hours is pretty accurate. So it is a gravel dirt road to get in here guys. So keep that in mind when you are traveling. It's about 10 to 12 kilometers to get in on that dirt road as well as you can see behind me here guys this is the marker it's the final marker for the three capes track hikers um, this is what they'll see as they come into Fortescue Bay it's absolutely stunning guys the bay here is crystal blue white sand um, just surrounded by these beautiful beautiful Australian eucalypt type forests um, but yeah this is one to add to your bucket list it is a fantastic day hike and I'm gonna say it is the best half day or day hike in the country so let's get stuck into it All right guys, so I started hiking at about 6.30 this morning, uh, nice and early as always. Um, the sun was just starting to come up, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's just always better to get an early start. It's not as hot because I am hiking in summer here and the days have been hotter than expected. So um, cool nights, warm days, always good for an early start. So yeah, started at 6.30. Estimating to be back at around 10.30, probably 11, after I've stopped for photos, video, and food. So guys, I'm at the first fork in the road. This is gonna take you to Cape Hoy. If you turn left, um, there is an area where you can leave any extra large items and backpacks if you don't wanna take them with you on the next leg of the journey. It's just behind me here. And you'll notice that a lot of backpacks get left here if you start your hike a little later in the day when you get to this point. Um, that's because everyone on the Three Capes track leaves their bigger pack here and just takes their day pack into Cape Hoy. So yeah, when you see this pillar, make sure that you turn left and we're gonna continue down this way. Wow, 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 guys, holy dooly. So we're almost there towards the end. I wasn't joking when I told you there's a lot of stairs. Yep, a lot. <laughs> there's perspective for you. <laughs> I can feel my knees giving way even before I've started it. So guys, we're hiking all the way out to somewhere about here, I believe. Um, that's the furthest point you can go. And then we'll double back. All right guys, so fun fact behind me here, you can see the start of the Dolorite Cliffs. Um, so they are all the way along this Tasman kind of peninsula area. And the only other cliffs that are as tall as these uh, are found in Scotland. Feel free to fact check me on that, but uh, these are some of the tallest dolerite cliffs in the world, um, up to 300 meters tall, guys. So um, it is a spectacular sight, and you're about to see a little bit more of it. A few people ask me why I keep doing this track when I come to Tassie, and I'm gonna tell you it's because it's that good. <laughs> I keep doing it because it's so good, guys. It's a great track. It's a great walking distance. Um, it's achievable for most people. Um, if you're not scared of a few stairs, then it's well worth the effort.
see why it's good guys? Can you see why yet? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, stunning. I've seen whales along the coastline. I've seen albatross. There's a ton of albatross just up over this hill. Um, seals, there's so much wildlife here to see. And on a day like today, it's pretty good. <laughs> Holy, this coastline blows me away, honestly. <laughs> So you've got Cape Pillar off in the distance. Those of you that may be watching this that have done the Three Capes track, you would have walked from there all the way over to this point. All right guys, so this bit might actually be my favorite part of the track. You can see behind me where the stairs are um, and that part of the track, how close that hugs the edge of the Dolorite Cliffs. This bit is really special. Um, let's go take you to the lookout, have a bite to eat, have a chat. Well guys, here we are. The very end of the Cape Hoy track. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Look at that, wow. Let me take it to the other side. Okay, this is the side that scares me a bit. It is... Oh, beautiful. We made it guys. Hope you can hear me over the wind. Fun fact, this is the only barricade you'll find on the entire Three Capes track. The Three Capes track and um, Tasmania Parks believed that people would have enough common sense to stick to the track, enjoy the natural beauty and, you know, have a bit of common sense and some wits about them. So there are many areas on the track like this where there's no barricade. Um, so it's up to you to be responsible and use your common sense. But because this bit is the end of the track, they thought they'd put a little barricade in so everyone can really enjoy the view. Pretty special. So guys, that sums up our video today. I'm um, hiking the Cape Hoy track. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna have a bite to eat um, and enjoy the walk back and enjoy these incredible views as well. Thank you so much for joining me guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Of course, hit that notification button down below. That'll notify you every time I release a brand new video. And of course, subscribe for future content. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.